five in the morning and meeting my brother out here. Uh, it's probably hard to tell since it's wearing the dark. But right down there's the boat. And we're headed out to go hunt deer. It's been my last morning to go hunt. I'll get her done. in his low 60s. I'm not sure what the, what, what the temperature is. I didn't even really pay attention. And I ain't got no data out here. Um, I can do good to text and make a phone call. That's all I can do at the moment. But I'm going to say a prayer. This hunt, this would be the last hunt that I can hunt on down here this year. I pray that, um, Lord, that you just uh, uh, send me a deer if it be your will. Uh, let me see a deer at least. Uh, Lord, uh, I thank you. And uh, you're an awesome, wonderful God. And it's just, uh, I'm glad that I've been able to, to hunt. And I do thank you for that. I saw this in Jesus' name, amen.
Jeremy trying to sneak up on me. Where'd he go? What's he doing just sitting over there? Didn't see a thing. Squirrels. I think in coyotes got messed up. Coyotes? Yeah. Probably. I hunted it morning and evening. It was bedded down out there. It won't be bedded down in it now, it's full of water. You'll have to bed down back there. Yeah. Change deer's patterns too. This wood. The, the rising of the water. There's you know that creek across back there? Yeah. It was, it was as dry as that, probably drier before that damn rain that me and Melinda was out here the other day. The day before yesterday. And we were coming out in the dark. And I mean, it was flash flood. Water is definitely up today. Talking to the camera, telling them the water is showing how high the water is. That rain basically just raised the water level. No looking for air heads now. Jack about briars with me. See on the opposite bank of the other side. But over here, you definitely definitely can tell there's a big, big difference from what it was. Big difference. This is my going away meal. Deer what? cubed steak. Deer cubed steak good stuff i'm going to munch 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 the ride out yeah we'll just make that a plan come doe hunting on the farm next year 
ain't. Sounds like a winner. It'll be a whole lot easier to process them and everything. Fill some freezers. Plus, hopefully I wouldn't have to worry about no nobody walking up on me or trying to hunt my, the spot I want to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> like you do with public. I'm heading out to go see my dad and I called my dad to see if he was home. And he's not home, he's at the family farm so uh actually heading to the spot that um, I was talking to Jeremy about killing a doe at. Um, so, any which way, um, I'm not going to stay and kill one this afternoon, but uh, next year, that is the plan. I'm going to come down here and uh, hunt the farm. I ain't hunted the, um, the family farm in 15 years. Can you? I don't know what's wrong with me. I got this public land hunting thing. I just love hunting public land. I don't, I don't know. It's it's the challenge, but it can be frustrating. But any which way, I'm gonna get off here so I can drive and not kill myself or anybody else. But be at the farm shortly. These were my my grandpa and grandma and great grandma all owned this land. It's called Cornelius Farms. All this used to be fields. I used to dove hunt right here and shoot doves. But it's it's not it's not that way no more. My grandma before you know well long before she passed away sold off 60 acres and I grew up in that house right there. Um but needless to say, uh, this was all woods. I've deer hunted in there. I used to be after a big eight pointer that was that hung out in there. That's my great grandma's land there. And uh, Here's the farm. And there's my daddy. Oh, there he is, my son. <laughs> Probably a nasty old sucker. No, I, I took Cheryl last night. 